not the most important of all skin minerals. Zinc is a component of insulin. So if you're cranking out lots of insulin, as most of us do as we get older, that's called insulin resistance. You're probably going to be deficient in zinc. The more sugar you're eating, the more zinc you're burning. So if you're eating a lot of sugar, you're probably going to be deficient in zinc. If you have acne, you're probably deficient in zinc. Hey, if you got prostate problems, this is one of the most important roles for zinc. Zinc is a major, major, major prostate protecting mineral. If you're using the ProstFX from Longevity, Dr. Wallach formulated it with some zinc in its most deluxe form. Doc's formulations are impeccable. The Prost FX is made with zinc monomethionine, which is the deluxe form of zinc. Prost FX also has selenium. That's also important for prostate health, and we find that selenium and zinc work together. They're both very important for the immune system. Other nutrients for the prostate include vitamin E and the ultimate EFA+. Plus. Saw palmetto, the herb, I'm not a big believer in saw palmetto, but there's some good literature on saw palmetto for the prostate. Beta cytosterol or beta cytosterol, depending on how you say it. That's another really, really cool uh, nutrient. It's kind of a fatty nutrient for, for the prostate. The prostate's a fatty organ. So you want to consider prostate health issues, and they're very common, BPH, benign prostatic hypertrophy. BPH means your prostate cells are growing, growing out of control. If you have any kind of prostate issues, you probably have an issue with fats, not surprising. We talk about this all the time. You probably also have an uh, uh, issue with sugar, not surprising. We talk about that all the time. And you probably have an issue with digestion in general, not surprising. We talk about that all the time. Yes, you should be using prostate-supporting nutrients, vitamin E, ultimate EFAs, zinc, selenium, maybe saw palmetto as well, beta cytosterol or cytosterol, absolutely. But you really want to consider the prostate to be part of the body, which means you want to take care of the entire body, which means the same things, if you're dealing with prostate health issues, you do the same thing that you do if you're dealing with acne or heart disease or high blood pressure or anything else. You focus on blood sugar and you focus on the digestive system. The prostate, like the liver, is a fatty structure, so fat digestion is especially important in fat metabolism. Lay off the fries. Lay off the processed fats. Lay off the trans fats. Lay off the fried fats. That's probably the single most important dietary strategy you could ever use if you're dealing with BPH or any kind of prostate issue or really any health issue. Lay off the fats. If you can't lay off the fats, that's telling you you need fats. If you can't lay off the French fries, that's telling you your body is craving fats. But not French fry fats. When we eat fats, they go right into the blood. When we eat sugar, when we eat protein, that gets processed a little bit, broken down a little bit. Proteins get broken down into their constituent amino acids, and sugar gets broken down into its constituent simple sugar components. But fats get used as is. They go into the blood as is, and the body attempts to make cells from the kind of fats that we're eating. That means if we're eating French fries, if our, our main source of fats is French fries, then we're going to have french fry cells. Do you think that's a good idea? No, it's a very bad idea. French fry cells are not good under any circumstances. Do you think french fry cells are related to disease? You better believe they are. It's all about the cell, right? All diseases sell disease, right? All right, so much more to talk about here. We'll finish up talking about prostate cancer and prostate disease and the main reason or one of the main reasons why all of us are zinc deficient unless we're supplementing tomorrow on The Bright Side as we continue talking prostaglandins. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back with your phone calls right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page, brightsideben.com. If you can't get enough of the bright side once a day, you can listen to it 24-7 on brightsideben.com. You can also check out our videos, our uh, skincare videos. We do them once a week, myself and Amanda Rideout, health coach. Shoot me an email, Ben at KSCO.com. We'll get you on the email list. We're covering acne in our latest uh, latest videos. We've done retinol and we've done ALS and all kinds of Z radical. I don't know. We've probably done about 20, 20 videos already. I uh, would we'll do them every week. If you want to be notified when we do a new one, when we post a new one, send an email to Ben at KSCO.com. Ben at K for King, S for Sam, C for Cat, O for Oscar.com. If you are in the upstate New York area, I want to invite you, I want to extend a personal invite to you to please come by the Century Manor Grill House, 
401 East State Street in Olean, New York. Zip is 14760 if you want to map quest it or GPS it, 14760. Uh, it's uh, the 21st of October, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. for my friend Jonathan. Jonathan Smith. His phone number is 646-258-0148. The seats are filling up quickly, so please RSVP as soon as you can. 646-258-0148 is Jonathan's number. There's going to be some giveaways, and I guess he wants to know how many people are going to be out there. And uh, Love to see you. Love to see you out there if you're in the upstate New York or upstate Pennsylvania area. 646-258-0148 is Jonathan's number. I'll give him a call and let him know you want to come by. Hope you can make it. Okay, let's see. Time to hit our phones, 855-660-4261. What's going on, Isaac, in New York? How you doing, buddy? I'm doing okay for Mrs. Ben. Do you know, do you know what Isaac means? Do you know what your name means? Isaac. Uh, well, the only thing I know is Isaac originated in, um, as my, in the Bible, Abraham yep. being my father. Yeah, that's right. And Abraham and Sarah, Abraham's wife Sarah was not supposed to have any babies. And when the angel came, she was like 80 or 90 or something, when the angel came and said, Sarah, you're going to have a baby. And she was 80 years old or something, 85, I don't know. She, she started laughing. And Isaac actually means laughter. Because sure enough, nine months later, praise God, she had a baby. And so she named oh. him Laughter. And that's what Isaac means. Isn't that a cool name? Isaac, Laughter. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, I, I recall that uh, when I used to read my Bible. So I yeah. Did. Um, I guess that's the reason why I like to smile a lot. <laughs> maybe so, maybe so. Good, uh, good. I like that. Where are you from, Isaac? Uh, I'm from New York. Okay, good deal. How how can we help you, my friend? Okay, um, I've been having liquid bowel movements for years. Not good. Just, Not good. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 27. Okay. Now, liquid bowel movements means mean a couple things. <clears throat> Excuse me. They mean, number one, your body is in a, trying to evacuate something, trying to get rid of something. It could be a bacteria. It could be a pathogen. If you've had it for a long time, it probably isn't. It's probably something you're eating on a regular basis that the body considers to be a, a, a toxin of some kind, problematic in some way. And it's your way, the way your body is attempting to eliminate that substance. So you want to link your bowel movement, your liquid bowel movements, connect those up to some kind of food that you're eating or something you're ingesting. Nutritional supplements can sometimes do it. So anything that your body is trying to evacuate will cause uh, loose stools or liquid bowel movements. Also, if you're not absorbing minerals, that can do it too. Sometimes that happens when people use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. They'll sometimes, they'll sometimes notice they've got liquidy bowel movements. In any case, it's your body either not absorbing or attempting to eliminate something, and you want to know what that is. Now, if you want to just dry things up a little bit, you want to start upping your uh, intake of soluble fiber. Soluble fiber. Soluble fiber is the kind of fiber that makes things swell and absorbs water. Uh, uh, soluble fiber is a mushy kind of fiber that gives pears and apples and avocados their mushy kind of quality. So upping your intake of of, probably you want to stay away from the sweet, sweet forms of soluble fiber, but avocados are a good source of soluble fiber. Tomatoes can be a good source of soluble fiber. Uh, potatoes can be a good source of soluble fiber. Anything that's squishy and mushy when it gets wet. Squash. Squash is a wonderful source, absolutely. Pumpkin. Anything that's kind of got a squishy, you know what I'm talking about, Isaac? Like yeah. a squishy, mushy quality. That can help absorb or mop up water. Bentonite clay can do the same thing. You might want a teaspoonful of bentonite clay. That might help. But I would be concerned about malabsorption in the sense that if you're passing foods through your body or passing nutrients through your body and eliminate them, eliminating them, you may not be, uh, you may be malnourished. You may not be getting the, your zinc. You may not be getting your magnesium. You may not be getting your B vitamins. Your nutrients may not be absorbed into to the blood, you may be losing everything. So you really want to connect up what's causing these loose bowel movements, uh, what kind of food is doing it, and then eliminate that food, and then what kind of, uh, if it's a nutritional supplement, uh, what kind of nutritional supplements are, are causing the problem, and then maybe either switch supplements or take less supplements at, at a time. Uh, last thing that you might want to do is if, if you're not getting, making enough stomach acid, and this is very common, or if you have an infection with a bacteria called H. pylori, which is second secondary or follows malabsorption of, uh, or I should say, uh, a poor acid secretion, not making enough acid, you may uh, want to acidify your digestive system after meals using apple cider vinegar, or you can get something called pepsin, P-E-P-S-I-N, pepsin HCL. The ultimate enzymes will get you a little bit of acidification, and you can also have a compounding pharmacist make HCL, 
hydrochloric acid, that stands for, HCL drops for you and use them after meals. So number one, see if you can notice that there's certain foods that cause the problem and then eliminate those foods. Number two, if you're finding that it's related to minerals or nutrient absorption, get yourself on, uh, start using smaller doses of those nutrients and maybe start acidifying the contents of your stomach using apple cider vinegar or HCL drops. Use the ultimate enzymes. Use the ultimate enzymes. Uh, you might want to try the Biolumin Nightly Essence. That's good for all digestive health issues. Bentonite clay might help you mop up some of that excess uh, water. And the same is true about soluble fiber. And thanks so much for your call, Isaac. Hope we helped you out there. Uh, Jason in New York. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the Bright Side. Jason. Jason, Jason. Hey. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing very good. I just want to say thank you. You changed my life. Oh, I appreciate uh, that. What's going on? How, how do we? Uh, the information I didn't personally. The information no, changed your life. You're right. You okay. you led me to the to the way. But I, the, I used to have French fry cells too. So okay, good. <laughs> what? Tell me what you noticed. Like what? Real quickly, just what were your symptoms and what happened? How did how did what changes you made and how you're feeling better? Well, I mean, I had a whole thing right now, but real quick is you know a few years ago I I kind of developed asthma. Um, okay. I went to the doctor. The doctor couldn't really give me. Any reason? I mean, I, I was heavy all my life. I probably weighed at that time 250 pounds, and you know, he just oh, this is what happens when you get older. Is that's what he told me. So okay, uh, yeah, I just had to live with it. He gave me Advair, and you know, that was going to be for the rest of my life. I guess I'm I don't know. You. And then oh, I ended yeah. up hearing you on uh, Alex, and uh, you were talking to I think Aaron Dykes who lost a bunch of weight. Yeah, and I figured I would give it a shot. I started listening to you every day. I started on a BTT. I yeah. stopped. You know, eating lunch because I work outside. So whenever I would eat lunch, if I didn't make it, I would stop in places, and it, it was just you so know, change your life. Thing you do. You right, change it. And now, now tell me I, what your what, what are the results? I lost about eighty pounds in eighteen months. Praise God. I'm down to one seventy. That's um, awesome. Asthma is gone. And asthma was gone probably a month after I saw Praise it. God. Yeah. That is so cool. That is so cool, Jason. Thank you. You should you should send a note to your doctor. Tell him maybe he wants to listen to the program, too. Yeah, you know, right. Maybe he can help his patients oh, a little more. It's funny because I still get a letter from him because I canceled the next appointment, but I didn't cancel in time, so they send you a bill every month that you missed the appointment, and I just, me and my wife laugh. Because That's too funny. Thanks yeah. so much, Jason. Have a good day, man. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Yeah, maybe you should send a, we should send his doctor a link to the bright side. Maybe his doctor can bone up on nutrition a little bit. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to the bright side on the Genesis Communication Network. We got more phone calls for you, more good health information coming up right after this. Don't go away. All right, we're back on the bright side. Dwayne in Virginia, what's cooking? How you doing, man? I'm good. Um, uh, I've been listening to I don't know about six months or so. Uh, All right, I've got some good good stuff. Been been doing some supplements and overall just just feeling better. Just All right. Just overall. All right. Yeah. All right. So, Let's, so how can we help you? So, how can uh, we help you? Today? The the main reason I was calling you're talking about this vitamin C issue that people are talking yeah yeah. About. Uh, uh, on um. A radio program I was listening to the other day. There was a doctor, Eric Llewellyn. And Llewellyn, Eric, Eric Llewellyn. Yeah. I'm gonna look him up. Yeah. Is he an MD? Nutritionist. Okay. He's a holistic health guy from the UK. All right. I'm skeptical and, right off the bat. I'm skeptical. And but, what's he uh, saying? Jason Berkovics from uh, Grown by Nature. There's a, a supplement company called Grown by Nature. All right. And so they he's selling. Were talking, he, He's there selling a whole food. He's selling a whole food supplement. Is that right? Like a whole food supplement? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's what I was thinking. You know, these whole food supplements are great, and I'm all for whole food supplements, as I've said many times. Whole foods are always the way to go. The problem is you're not going to get enough vitamin C. You're probably getting 20 milligrams of vitamin C, or maybe 30 or 40 in a dose, which isn't any anywhere near enough vitamin C. Is he saying that because it has the cofactors and everything in it, it's a better product? Correct. Yeah, that's okay. exactly what he's all right. saying. All right. All right, yeah, that's that's kind of the, you know, I figured that's what they were saying. And, you know, he's not exactly wrong either. He's just misleading. You know, a little bit of truth is a dangerous thing in the sense that it's misleading. Yes, obviously, nobody's stupid enough to think that synthetic is better than natural. Of course it's not. The problem is you're not going to get the vitamin C you need in a whole food supplement. And to go around telling people that ascorbic acid, ascorbic acid without scurvy, because it cures scurvy, is somehow a problem, is just dirty pool. And you tell somebody ought to tell Eric Llewellyn, 
well and to have a little trace of humanity in them and stop. It's already confusing enough for people to throw out more confusion because you want to sell some of your product is just not fair. But thank you for sharing that, Dwayne. I appreciate that. I'm going to I'm going to do my research. Uh, one on more that. question. One more yes. question, real quick. Uh, uh, poison ivy. My daughter's had it like three times this year, and okay, <laughs> okay. she is, is, couple, is is. She's miserable. Uh, She's miserable. It's miserable. 